Hey, yo, 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 what's going on? As one Crookshank checking in once again, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker back for yet another Move Swiftly thought. You know, when I was in, was a freshman in college, I, I spent a brief, brief, very brief moment working for this network marketing company named Cutco Cutlery, Cutco Cutlery. And basically the bottom line to it is we would sell kitchen knives, we'd go door to door selling kitchen knives. And the, the thing that actually drew me into the company was it, when you apply for the actual position, it says nothing about kitchen knives. It says absolutely nothing, it gives you no information about kitchen knives. What you're actually applying to is something called vector marketing. Like that's actually the company that pulls in, that's, that's what gets in all the applications. So it pulls in a lot of people like myself who were interested in studying business in college and you know becoming business owners after they graduate and things like that. And one of the, you know, it didn't obviously, the, the position didn't last too long. I didn't do a great job selling knives. However, what I, the point I wanna get across to you guys is simply the training. All right, the training, the two-day training seminar that we had, we it was like a Saturday, all day on a, it was like all day on a Friday and all day on a Saturday and all day, like it was like, I want to say it was like I, just a weekend or whatever it was. It was basically a, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday where it was just training all day, how to sell kitchen knives, how to sell the homemaker sets, how to get the presentations, how to make calls, how to make appointments, the kind of people we call. I mean, we went over it thing i mean so many things i don't have time to get into all the things that we went over but what i do want i do the the point the thought that i kind of had because now i'm in a place now where i'm i'm back on click funnels i'm building up my funnel i've actually just started this new book that i highly recommend you guys get uh it's called 30 days basically you suddenly you lose everything in 30 days and he pulled basically russell brunson pulled 30 different people that have made uh, two comments made about a million dollars made millions of dollars on a funnel and then he asked them you know if you lost everything if you lost everything what would you do what would you do in 30 days if you lost everything he basically put that scenario out there for him so i've, I've been reading this and i kind of got me thinking about my time as a cutco as a cutco sales rep all right so long story short there was a there's one specific knife the name of this knife was called the spatula spreader now if you know anything about cutco the the neat selling point about cutco is the fact that it's so sharp it can cut through leather it can cut through this massive rope so what we had to what, one of the things that we had to do when we were <laughs> when we were giving presentations we have to cut through the rope and cut through the leather and you know really wow people and then they would tell us you know it's not even about how great you give the presentation it's all about how you know you let oh yeah that was the one thing you people don't sell cutco cutco will sell itself that was the that was kind of the the one of the gems that I picked up. So the spatula spreader, you know, and it, it's all in the name. The spatula spreader had the same rigs, had the same kind of things in which would cut through the leather, but it was wide enough in which you can take it and put it in a peanut butter and take it and put it in some jelly and spread it, you know, spread it on and make a sandwich and stuff like that. And she, she one of the, the lady, I can't, I can't remember the director's name, the one who was running the training, but she was telling us a story about how somebody was struggling to sell the big homemaker sets, the ultimate sets, the, the sets that cost a couple thousand dollars. And she was looking through his file and she was saying how you know, I, I see you sell a lot of spatula spreaders. <laughs> you know, and so she had him do like a role play. She had him do a role play and say, you know, you know, tell me, talk to me, talk to me like I'm a client, or talk to me like I'm a potential buyer, and tell me how you sell the spatula spreader. And then he just goes in. He goes, Miss Jones this thing is amazing. This spatula spreader has changed my life. And it was because he was in college and you know, he's, you know, we're using, like I was, we're using the spatula spreader to do all sorts of things. And it's, it was very, it came in very handy. Having a spatula spreader came in very handy when you're a kid away from college, all right? So as he's talking and as she's talking, he's realizing that he has to believe in a product as you sell it. And that's the point, or if you're gonna sell it, you know, if you're gonna make the masses, you know, gonna make the millions like these, like these people, and if you're gonna be doing the big things that you want to do, and if you're in my world, it's because you, you know, you like what I, you like my energy, you like how, 
how you feel after listening to a thought. You just kind of like the, the ideas that I give you and stuff like that. If you don't use it yourself, don't try to sell it, all right? The spatula spreader, the interesting thing about that spatula spreader is I remember it actually being at my house growing up. I remember the actual spatula spreader being something that we used at my house and it lasted for years. I remember myself going through the same thing of only selling spatula spreaders because that was the only thing I used. Now, when you translate that, now this happened like over a decade ago, it's like 2008, so yeah, well over a decade ago now. And the way it translates into my business now is I always think to myself, now, look, as one doesn't own the word swiftly, the only thing, the only thing I do is the same feeling that you get when you use the spatula spreader, you hear the word swiftly and immediately you think of the type of world we live in. So when I, when I preference it with saying move swiftly, you're in your mind, you're like, look, I have no choice. If I live in a world with social media, if I live in a world where things go viral, if I live in a world where the internet is basically taken, sorry, I got cut off there. If, where was I? I was saying, if I live in a world, damn it. I live in a world that moves swiftly regardless. Yes, yes, so that, that was, a, I was saying, all right, if I live in a world that moves swiftly regardless, I don't have a choice. And that eventually, that once people get that, you probably don't even know the acronym. Most of the, most of the people that actually are interested or, or listen to me speak, don't even know what the acronym actually means. They know what the word means and immediately that attracts people. Same thing with a company like Under Armour, which I speak a lot about in the book Six Figure Athlete, which should be out soon. You hear the word Under Armour as a football player, you're thinking of the pads you put on, but underneath it, you're getting ready, right? The the, the armor is like the football pads and, and stuff like that. But Kevin Plank doesn't own the patents for tight, stretchy t-shirts. And I can go on and on and on and on about the same concept. So if you're looking to grow your business, if you're looking to, to get ahead, if you're looking to really hit that big sale, really think of something that you use every day and then how are you gonna communicate that message to a mass group of people that are gonna understand exact, not, they don't necessarily have to understand exactly, but they have to understand somewhat why it's beneficial to them and then you can go from there. All right, again, checking out, signing out. Name is Aswan Crookshank. I'm your Move Swiftly speaker. You all continue to move swiftly. We'll talk more soon.